there. So are you moving to Colorado or the Denver metro area? Or maybe you already live in this area and just want to know a little bit more about the good school districts that are going to be surrounding the Denver metro area. Well, that's exactly what this video is for. Let's get started. Christy Lee here and I am a local real estate agent that loves helping people move to the area, find their new home, get to know the areas and you know just embrace the Colorado lifestyle. If you're new to my channel, all of my videos are going to be catered to my favorite places I've lived, places that I like to take my kiddo, uh, you know great shopping areas, things like that. If that's something that interests you, please click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the best school districts about around the Denver metro area. Now, I do want to be very clear that we're only going to be talking about, you know, the Denver metro area. We're not talking about Colorado as a whole because Colorado as a whole has, you know, a lot of school districts that are wonderful, but we are only going to be specifically talking about the suburbia area just around Denver. So I'm going to talk about six of them, the top six um, of that have been ranked within niche.com. Um, so that's where all of my statistics and all my information is going to be coming from. And I'm gonna go from six going down to the best school district in uh, around Denver. So let's get started. All right, to start off our list, we're gonna be starting on number six and working our way down. So number six is gonna be the St. Vrain Valley School District. And I personally actually do live in this school district. My little three-year-old son is in preschool in one of the St. Vrain Valley schools. So I actually do really like this school district. Um, this school district is going to be located on the northern side of Denver. So you're looking at Longmont, Firestone, Frederick, uh, Mead, and then parts of Erie. So when you're thinking about this school district, you're probably gonna be located more in the little town or the towns that are gonna be smaller than some of the other ones, obviously within uh, the Denver metro area. So you will have smaller class sizes. So for every uh, teacher, there's only gonna be about 18 students, which is fantastic. St. Rain has actually been um, named or they're numbered number three in athletics out of 18 in Denver, and they actually um, rank number three as well for the one of the safest school districts in uh, the Denver metro area. So this area is going to be fantastic if you're looking for, you know, like the Friday night lights kind of area with the football and, you know, the, all the, the towns people come together to watch the school games. That's going to be St. Vrain Valley uh, School District, in my opinion, uh, just because it is smaller. So you have the smaller school uh, class sizes, the smaller schools in general. Um, but it is still gr ranked great. I mean, number six is pretty good. Um, again, according to niche.com, it is actually ranked a B plus. So that is really, really good too. So I highly recommend St. Francis Valley School District. If you're thinking about moving here, the home prices going to be in this area are going to be anywhere between about mid 500s going up to 800,000. And again, it's just going to depend on what area of that school district you're living in. Uh, but you definitely could get in here and get some a great house and send your kiddos to a great school district. Okay, number five on our list is going to be Jefferson County School District. So that is actually the county I actually grew up been. Uh, I think I turned out just fine. Um, Jefferson County is going to be located more on the western side of Denver. So now we're talking about Arvada, Wheat Ridge, Lakewood, Golden, uh, Evergreen. Those are the places, um, those are the cities that are going to encumber uh, Jefferson County. Jefferson County School District is also just like the same brain is going to be 18 to 1 for, you know, students to teacher, which is fantastic. Um, they are actually ranked number four in Denver for athlete, uh, athletics opposed to the other one, which was number three. Um, so they're number four. Uh, still really good. Um, I really do like this school district. You're just going to be probably paying a little bit more for a house if you want to be in that school district. Um, just because it's closer to the mountains, people, those home prices are going to be just a little bit more. Mainly just because, you know, the, the proximity to the mountains. And I want you to be aware that those homes over there are going to be a little bit older. Those neighborhoods on that side are going to be a little bit more established, a little bit more mature. So average price point on that side is going to be anywhere between, I don't know, 
about mid 500s, 600s, going up to well into the millions, again, depending on the area, the location. Gold or golden tends to be extremely expensive, same with evergreen. So just kind of know that if you want your kiddos to be in Jefferson County, the price for a house is gonna be a little bit more for sure, but the school district is fantastic. Um, yeah, definitely something to look into. Okay, continuing to go down our list, we're now at number four, and that is Douglas County School District. So Douglas County is gonna be on the south side of Denver. So now we're talking about Castle Rock, Castle Pines, Highlands Ranch, those areas down there. And this one got an A minus ranking from niche.com and which is extremely great. I mean, all of their other rankings was like B plus. And so overall they got an A minus, which is great. Again, 18 to one school ratio. So that seems to be pretty, pretty average around uh, all of these districts but they did rank number two in athletics for all of Denver. They ranked number four for the safest school district in Denver, and they ranked number six for the best teachers in Denver. Uh, Douglas County has always been a really great area to live in. Um, I love Highlands Ranch, Parker, Castle Pines, Castle Rock, all of those areas are gonna be fantastic to live in. Um, they are gonna be, you know, average price point is gonna be right around that 600 mark, going up to, you know, in the millions if you want it to. But Douglas County as a whole, as far as the school district is concerned, you're gonna have great sports out there. You're gonna have great, obviously great teachers and just great academics if you were to move to uh, Douglas County. If you wanna to be towards the southern side of Denver, that's absolutely the place to go uh, when it comes to your school districts. Number three on our list is going to be Littleton School District. So Littleton School District is relatively new to me. I actually didn't even realize they have its own school district. So that just essentially means it's pretty small, but it's ranked really high when it comes to the academics. So Littleton School District is going to be taking care of Littleton, obviously, and then parts of Inglewood and Green Valley, um, or Greenwood Village, excuse me. So um, it is relatively small, but their scores as far as testing is concerned is gonna be on the higher side for sure. I would say the downfall for this particular school district is that it's ranked lower on the um, athletics. It is ranked number nine out of 18. So that definitely is not as good as some of the other ones, but the, uh, the academics is gonna be higher. It is also ranked number two uh, for the best teachers and number three for the best places that teachers want to work. So if your teachers are happy, your students are happy, right? So it seems like um, that area over there is going to be a great place. I personally have lived in Littleton, love the area. Um, it's gonna be on the uh, southwest side of Denver. And your home prices are gonna be probably right around the same as everywhere else, you know, about mid 500s going up to whatever you want it to be for that matter. Um, but they are gonna be a little bit older. Uh, again, kind of like the Arvada Wheat Ridge area, it's a little bit more established, a little bit more mature over on that side. Um, but the school district is ranked um, A, niche from niche.com is it's going to be an A. Um, so that is fantastic, again, Academics are gonna be fabulous in this area, but maybe not so much um, the athletics part of it. Number two on the list is gonna be Cherry Creek School District. And Cherry Creek School District is absolutely known for their athletics. They are ranked number one um, out of 18 in the Denver School Districts. So if you have a kiddo who's excellent in sports or wants to you know, get some sort of scholarship or whatever in academic or athletics, um, definitely go over to Cherry Creek School District because that's where, that's where it's going to be as far as that is concerned. Um, they are ranked an A in niche.com. Um, Cherry Creek School District is actually gonna be located more on the southeast side of Denver. So it's gonna take place right here in, um, Greenwood, uh, Green, Greenwood Village, excuse me, Greenwood Village, Parker, Centennial, and parts of Aurora. Um, they are going to be more of the diverse um, schools um, in the in the area for sure. They have it's they are actually ranked number one as the best place to work for teachers. So that's fantastic. They love that area down there. And then it's going to be number five as far as the safest school districts um, out of the 18. So if you have, again, a kiddo who is really, really good at just sports or really wants to excel in the sporting um, part, the sporting program, 
Cherry Creek is going to be the place to go 100%. Overall, they're ranked really high as far as um, academics are concerned as well, but 100% known for their athletics. And finally, number one, and no surprise to many people, is the Boulder Valley School District. Boulder Valley is going to be located on the western side, northwestern side of Denver. Um, so we're talking Boulder, Lafayette, Louisville, Superior, and parts of Erie. Um, this is ranked number one, 100% um, as the best place to, to send your kids for ac academics, for sure. There's over a 90% graduation uh, rate when it comes to Boulder Valley School District. Um, but they do rank a little bit lower for athletics. So again, if your kid's into sports and want to excel in that, definitely send them to Cherry Creek. But when it comes to Boulder, they are ranked number one in, as the safest school district in the area. Um, but they are pretty low on the diversity side. So because we're in that areas, Boulder, Superior, Lafayette, all of those areas, it tends to be about 90% white. Uh, so to just kind of keep that in mind uh, when you are sending your kiddo to whatever school district, um, but Boulder Valley is definitely going to be, I think they're ranked number 13 out of 18 as uh, diversified, which is no surprise to me. Um, in this area, you are going to be paying a lot more for your home as well. So it is Boulder County, Boulder Valley School District. So those are going to be the median home price is going to be upper of 700s going into well into multi-million dollar homes. Um, so you're not only paying for that school district, you're paying for Boulder County as well, being so close to Boulder. People want to be in that area. So those are the top six school districts um, that are going to be surrounding the Denver metro area. I hope that has helped you out a little bit or at least given you a little bit more information regarding different school districts in the area. Again, please reach out to me if you have any questions about these particular school districts um, or any city around, around Denver. Please let me know. I am here to help you in any way possible. Reach out to me anytime. I am the one that answers those text messages and uh, phone calls. Remember to click that subscribe subscribe button and that way you are notified every time I have a new video and to the next video. Take care.